Alright, before we start the speedrun, let me give you a rundown of three major things you need to do to get to this point in the game. The first and most obvious step is to select Whitlamite as the beginning of your playthrough. You then need to select the Expand Appeal to Middle Class Reform option in the ALP section. Lastly, and this is a tricky one to pull off, but you actually need to take a pro-Vietnam stance, which should cause an explosion vote against Whitlam, who with a high enough speech check can cause the vote to fail and the leader to be replaced with Calwell to Whitlam. Only 30% of Australians get this in the government, so I think we got pretty lucky this run. Okay, we start the game. First thing we gotta do is revolutionize the policy tree. If we cram in as many amendments as possible, that should make the elite class wariness level higher. The first way to do this is to form a dumb vert. With this two-person government, we shouldn't have a problem taking the first step towards our speedrun by establishing relations with the People's Republic of China. Because a hidden feature in this game is that America's move directly correlates with government stability. I don't know if this feature is a bug, but for this speedrun, we're going to try and exploit the hell out of it. Now, the first roadblock you're going to encounter is the blocking of the supply bill. But Contrary to what most players think from the game trailers, this is actually has very little effect on gameplay as if you just wait a few weeks a supply bill has to get passed. Now that we have a full government in power, we should have the ability to threaten closure of Pine Gap. This should further anger the United States. Now given the rest of the run is just a waiting game, a good way to quickly tell if you've got the dismissal event is if America sends Marshall Green as the ambassador of Australia. If you've done everything right, then we should get this cutscene and that's time. Thank you for joining me in this Whitlam speedrun adventure.